<clears throat> okay, about these two missing planes, <coughs> the Malaysia planes, both of them, it's a little fishy, and I know I'm no web, I'm nobody, I'm just some chick talking and I listen to Randy Rhodes and everything but I'm gonna put some words into your head Coco Islands Port Blair the jail Freescale Knickerbocker Islands these two planes Went missing, MIA, no wreckage. Don't want to be a conspiracy theory, <coughs> but if any plane falls out of the sky, you're going to get debris. 100%. Now, the first plane that was missing, a lot of people that were on board were from this company called Freescale. Freescale, if you Google it, they're the ones that do the remote controls for your cell phone if you're away and you want to lock up your home. They do that. They do a lot of remote control drone type of stuff. So it's not outside the realm where a plane could be succumb to an automatic type of drone thing where it just it could shut off the internet, it could like automatic pilot somebody, it could do that. Now, why don't anybody on board text anybody if they're in distress? Well, if you could make the plane go in and out of altitude to where it makes people pass out ASAP or die ASAP, then they're not going to use their phones to call distress. And if you have like a drone type of thing or like a, a, a free scale type of device where it could shut off any any kind of access device to the internet you could do that it's easily you could easily do that you could easily just disable any internet any device you could just disable things and then you could make a plane go in and out of altitude where everyone will pass out and then once you have Control over that plane. You can make it go wherever you want. Now, where do you take it? Maybe somewhere where there's a place where there's an air field or like some kind of airport that's not accessible anymore but still there. Or a jail that's still there. Something like Port Blair, Cocoa Islands. Knickerbocker, you know, any of these places. Once you have control over a plane, you disable all their internet, all their uh, their GPS system, whatever you input anything here. You could disable things. That's easily to do in this technology. Then you put the plane to different altitudes where may make people pass out so they can't use their cell phones. And then once you have access to the plane, you can fly it to anywhere you want. So it would need an airport or an ex-military base. And Randy Rhodes, not the Randy Rhodes from the guitar band, um, 
Ozzy Osbourne, but there were other Randy Rose. I think had a lot to do. Had something going on. She knew. Because all of a sudden, her radio station's gone and she has to leave the country for a while. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything like that. But, you know what? Investigate it. Investigate it. Because there is no way a plane is just going to, like, just fall out of the sky with any debris. Especially in this today's technology. And today's technology is a little different. When you're through your cell phone, you can lock up your doors at your house. You could do so many things. Freescale. Google Freescale. You don't believe me? Google Freescale. The first plane that went down. A lot of people on board were at Freescale. That do that kind of shit. So, you could take over the plane. Oh, well, then you're like, oh, well, how come no one did a distress signal? Well, if a plane goes to different altitudes, you pass out. You can't do anything. Or if you're free scale, you could disable people's phones, GPS systems, all that kind of stuff. Okay, once you take over the plane, once everyone can't do anything, they're unconscious or dead or whatever, now you need to land the plane. Well, that's where uh, Coco Islands and Port Blair come into play. You land the plane there. You hide it. There's a jail there. An abandoned jail. How convenient. Now, why would you do all this? Well, I don't know. 9-11 comes into play. A plane is basically... It could be used against you. It could be a bomb, it could be a weapon, it could be anything. And you know what? You could re-register it under a golf stream. Google golf stream. Golf stream is basically a plane you could buy, a private plane you could buy. And if you want to fly it anywhere you want, you register it. And then when you need to fly anywhere, you tell the authorities. And like, oh, I'm flying over here. And then like, oh, okay, it's just a golf stream. Well, this Malaysia planes that are missing could be re-registered as a golf stream so they could fly anywhere they want, unrecognizable. They can always oh, just some, it's Donald Trump flying here, or doing that. Not a big deal. And they could be used as a weapon. Now, yes, conspiracy theory, I could be crazy or... There could be some truth to it. So Google everything I say. Google. Coco Island Airport. Port. Port Blair. Freescale. Knickerbocker Islands. And the two missing planes. Could there be truth behind it? Maybe. But you know what? I think we're going to see these planes eventually. I think we're going to see these planes. They are going to come back. And Google Gulfstream, by the way. Something's going on. Something's rotten in Denmark. And Randy Rhodes, you're on to it. Where's the cocky duty plane? Where's the cocky duty planes? And if you think I'm a conspiracy theorist, that I'm like some crazy, stupid bimbo, well, if you think a plane could just like fall out of the sky without any debris or anything, with any, like, all the GPS systems and all that stuff that, you know, the, the radar, just fall out twice, just out of nowhere, the first time ever, you're really going to believe that part? Then you're the conspiracy. Because it's like, really? You're going to believe that it just fell out of the sky and probably got an accident. You know what? If I'm in a plane and it's going down, I am going to grab my phone and I'm going to call my family and friends. And I'm going to make my last attempt to like, hey, I love you. I'm going down. 
Come on, guys. Come on, guys. In this technology, really, a plane going down and no one's going to get to their cell phones and try to contact their loved ones. There's not going to be anything on the radar. Nothing on GPS with your cell phones with GPS. Really? Something's rotten in Denmark. Now, I don't have all the answers. I'm just giving you little crumbs. Go follow the fucking crumbs. Where's the cocky duty plane?